Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to show you two different ways that you can sharpen an image using GIMP. Uh, I have here an image that I got from uh, pixabay.com that we're going to use and I'll put the URL uh, in the description just to give credit to the author of the image. And what I want to do, since I'm going to show you two different ways, I want to make two copies of this image because we're going to use one method on each of these two copies and then we're going to compare them to this original when we're done. So to make a copy of an image in GIMP, you just come up here to image and select duplicate. Or if you notice here, you can also use the hotkey control plus D and I'll do that with the second one. I'll just hit Control D and now I have three copies of the exact same image. So the first method that we're going to uh, use to sharpen this image and I should say before we start doing any of this that the results that you get are going to depend on how good the image is or what the quality of the image is to start with. So if you're using a high quality image you'll get a very high quality image. If you're using a very good image you'll get a high quality uh, a sharpened version of that image and so on and so forth. Uh, but you can use this method on any image. Uh, the results are just going to depend on how uh, sharp the image was to start with. So the first method that we're going to use is by creating a duplicate of the layer inside the same file. So if we right click on this layer and just duplicate that, we have a copy and it's sitting on top of the original. Now we want to run a filter on this copied layer. So we'll come up here to filters and come down to enhance. We're going to click high pass and this is going to create a very strange looking version of the image. Uh, but in the dialog box that appears, you have a couple of adjustments that you can make. You can change uh, this standard deviation uh, setting and you can change the contrast. You can toy with those and tinker with them and just see uh, what results you get based on the image that you're using. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm not going to change these. I'm going to leave them as they are and I'm just going to click OK. So now we have this high passed, high pass filtered uh, version of the, the image that we started with. And now what we want to do is change the blend mode of this layer that we just created. And to do that, you just come up here in your panel and change it from, change the mode from normal to overlay. And now uh, what we're seeing is that sharpened version and from here you could just export the results or you could even merge this down into a a single layer but uh, you may want to keep it like this and save the source file so that you can maybe come back and do some other edits but at any rate this is the first method of sharpening an image using GIMP and just to show you that it is sharpened if I turn off this layer you'll see how much of a difference it makes. So that's the original layer and this has the sharpening layer on top. So that's your first method using a high pass filter and then changing the blend mode to overlay on that copy of the original. The second method is very similar however it works a little bit differently in that we're not going to do everything in the same file. We are going to use a, sh uh, use a filter uh, to sharpen the image uh, and we're going to work on a copy but it's not going to be inside the same file. Let me show you what I'm talking about. In the second, well really the third, it's the second copy of the original but it's the third version of the image. Up here in the top I'm going to select that third one and then I'm going to come over here to colors and I'm going to come down to components and then I'm going to decompose this image. Now this is going to create a copy of the image that we're decomposing and 
when you click that it's going to ask you how do you want to do this well we're going to be extracting the channels in a certain color mode and we're going to choose to either decompose to layers or not decompose to layers we want this checked because we want to decompose the image to layers the color model though that we want to use is not RGB we want to use the LAB color model and then when you click OK you're gonna see a fourth tab appear up here and that's gonna be the copy of the image that we just generated this from. Now you'll have three layers over here the L layer, the A layer, and the B layer. That's why the color model is called LAB. However, we just want to operate on the L layer. So select that L layer and with it selected come up here to your filters and then come down to enhance just like before but instead of selecting high pass we're gonna come down here to sharpen. Now what we're doing is we are sharpening the luminosity information from the image that we pulled this out of. So we're going to sharpen all of this lightness, so to speak, that we see in this version of the image. So click sharpen and you're going to get a dialog box just like we did before. And in this one I am going to change some of these settings just to make it a little bit different from the first one that we used. So I'm going to change this to 3.200 and I'm going to change this to 0.700 and then I'm going to click OK. Again you could change you could test this by just adjusting these and seeing what results you get for the image that you're working on but this will work for what, what I'm demonstrating here. So I'm going to click OK. And now it doesn't look like anything happened, uh, but we just sharpened this lightness layer. Now what we want to do is we want to put this information back into the original image. And that sounds very complicated, and I'm sure that it is, but we don't have to do all of that by hand because GIMP will do that for us. All, it knows what image this came from. So if we come up here to colors and then we come to components like we did before you'll see that we can't decompose this version because it's already a decomposition but what we can do is recompose the image that it came from. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna recompose it. We're gonna put this information back into that original image and it doesn't look like anything happened but the original image is now sharper than it was before we created this and I'm just gonna close this down because we don't need it anymore and I'm gonna discard the changes and this is the sharpened version of our original image using that second method and just to show you compare this with the original and you'll see that it's much sharper. So that's the second method. Now which one of these methods works best? Well many people say that the second method, the one of decomposing the image and then running the sharpening filter on the lightness and then recomposing, many people will say that that is one that gives you the best results. However, compare this with the high pass method and you'll see that they're only a little bit different. So this is the second method and this is the first method. Second, first. It's just a little bit of difference and if you remember uh, I didn't change any of the settings using the high pass method and I did change the settings in the second method. So whichever one uh, you may find that one works better on some images and the other one works better on other images. It's really up to you. And depending on the settings, and like I said at the beginning, the quality of the image to start with, you may find uh, that the results vary uh, depending on which method you use. At any rate, though, that's two ways to sharpen an image 
using GIMP. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.